the roles I think we have as worship pastors is to be a friend to our senior pastor, our teaching pastor. I think that's something that, you know, as I, I get feedback from worship leaders and worship pastors around the country, a lot of times there's conflict, there's, uh, you know, the, my pastor doesn't get the vision, my, my elders, they, they just don't get it. And, and it may be true, it may be true, and it's something that each of us have to pray about and go, man, should I stay here? and serve this leadership or you know God do you want to remove me from the situation but the last thing you want to do is be a, a backbiter somebody who's just talking down your pastor talking down your leadership not cool not cool and I you know over the last 20 years at my church we've had several pastors and fortunately they've been good men of God and it's been for the most part easy to serve them it really has so I, I feel for folks that are in situations where they're like, wow, we just have such a difference in vision and approach to ministry. But I just want to say that I have always felt like one of my primary roles as a worship pastor is to be a friend to my pastor. And maybe that's one of the reasons there is conflict in, in your relationship, possibly, is maybe, maybe there's not a trust there. Maybe there's something about you and the things you've communicated that makes your senior pastor a little bit unsure if you're really on his or her team. So just, just examine your heart. Let's, let's always just examine our hearts and say, man, is there anything going on? Like, is there something that I need to just deal with in my heart and just like let go, overlook? You know, being, a, being part of a worship team, being part of a ministry team, and being on staff at a church is, is much like a marriage. You know, you're making a commitment to serve together. And you just have to decide to overlook things, you know, if they're just not that, that important. So maybe personality-wise, there might be certain things, but I always wanted to be a good listener, and I just challenge you to be a good listener. One of my roles, I felt like, was to be a safe place for my pastor to just vent, you know? So maybe Monday morning or Monday after the staff meeting or sometime during the week, whether, you know, whether we would grab coffee or it might be just me knocking on his door and going in and saying, how you doing? Doing all right? You know, how's, how's your kids? You know, how's your wife? And I'd kind of get around to like, so you doing all right? And not in a weird way, not too probing, but just sending the message that I care about you as a person, you know? You're, you're a pastor, but I'm, I'm, I'm for you. You know, you doing all right? And I wanted to communicate that without necessarily saying it, but that I'm a safe place. And, uh, and, and I'd always look for something specific about his sermon to say, by the way, man, Sunday, like when you were talking about so-and-so or that analogy that you gave, so powerful, you know, really good, really good word. And so look for things that you can honor your pastor in. And I'm telling you, that goes so far. And then, then you know what? Then you may need him to come, him or her, excuse me, you may have a a senior pastor who's a, a, a woman, but you may just need them to come to one of your rehearsals sometime and say, you know what, I need you to, I need your authority, or I need your backup on this situation, and I'm having trouble with this particular band member, and I need some wisdom, or I need you to just show up and kind of give some insight, and maybe you could come and kind of, you know, speak to the group, but really I need you to talk about such and such, you know? So the bottom line is, build a relationship of trust be a safe place for your pastor and that'll go a long way and if you feel like you can't do that then maybe it's time for you to just pray about removing yourself from that church but it should be over something big man I'm telling you after 20 years there's many times my wife and I said ah man maybe we should leave and we kind of stuck it out and there's there's a lot of benefits to commitment